Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this short video we're going to look at how to write VBA code to delete a row or a column in an Excel table. So here's my Excel table which I've called transactions and here's the code you need to perform this operation. So first of all we're going to declare a variable for the active sheet so a dim ws as worksheet and then i'm going to set that variable to be equal to the active worksheet okay so what we're going to do is we're going to access a property of the worksheet called list objects And that uh, basically is the collection of uh, list objects within a worksheet. And we're referencing the transactions table. And if you want to delete a particular column, you can do that by referencing the column with the list columns property. And then you give the position of the column. So for example, if I want to delete the date column, that's the second column within my table. So I put in two, and then the method we want to use is delete. So if I now run this macro, you can see it's deleted the date column. Now to delete a row, very, very similar. Let me just copy that. Uh, instead of referencing the list columns property, we'll reference the list rows property. So for example, if I want to delete row five, which would be one, two, three, four, five, this one here, just change the color there. All I'll do is I'll comment out this one because I don't want to delete another column. And if I play this, it deletes that row. So there we are, two short bits of code, one for deleting a column, one for deleting a row. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.